My name is Elizabeth Cardinal Seaver. I serve as the minister of the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Kent in Ohio. Like many people, I have been heartbroken to see the photos and read the stories of unaccompanied immigrant children crossing into our country on a quest to save their lives. Border Patrol has already picked up almost 50,000 children this year, and even more are expected next year. The United Nations reports that more than half of the children would likely qualify for refugee status, but without adequate access to attorneys, I fear that many will face deportation instead. President Obama has called this situation a humanitarian crisis. However, it cannot be understood apart from the larger crisis caused by ongoing deportations. Over 1,000 deportations each day, over 2 million in the last five years. The epidemic of deportations is separating families, traumatizing children, and fracturing communities. There is widespread and growing chorus of voices calling on President Obama to take executive action to respond to this crisis, too. Immigration activists, faith leaders, even members of Congress have called upon Obama to halt the deportation until Congress enacts comprehensive immigration reform. We have been invited to add our voices to this urgent call. From July 31st to August 1st, our interfaith and immigrant justice partners will host a faith summit on stopping deportation in Washington, D.C. They need us to turn out and to consider participating in planned civil disobedience as a faithful response to this crisis. This action of immediate witness is a call to support the Faith Summit, to go yourself or send a delegation from your congregation to D.C. if you can. And if you can't, to find a way to add your voice to the chorus of people calling for another way. We may be heartbroken, but we are not helpless and we are not I recognize